What's good everybody, it's your boy First Degree back at you with another video and right now I'm giving you part one of the WNBA All-Star break slash Olympic break recap starting off with talking about the All-Star weekend itself which was a great weekend for the WNBA. Um, we got to go over a few players and what they did that weekend and how they kicked off the break and what made that specific weekend so epic. First off, we got to give credit to Alicia Gray, who won not only the skills challenge, but the three-point challenge uh, during the All-Star weekend. Alicia Gray did her thing, earning 150 k total for both contests, being the only individual to win both contests in the same All-Star weekend, so shout out to Alicia Gray. On top of being the second leading scorer, uh, putting up 16 points, she added in three rebounds, three assists, and five steals in the All-Star game itself, just showing that she is one of the all-around most skilled players in the entire league. Along with that, you know we also got to talk about the performance of Arike Agumbawale, putting up 34 points, a record in the WNBA All-Star game. Um, absolutely torching Team USA for the second time, like she also did in the All-Star game of 2021, where she won the MVP in that game, while winning it in this game, breaking records. And another thing, all her points came in the second half, which is um, also impressive proving just to be Team USA's kryptonite uh, when it comes to, you know, just just going against them when it uh, it's Team WNBA versus uh, Team USA in the All-Star break. I know that uh, she removed herself from the Olympics committee's um, choosing for being on the USA team, but to me, I still see it as a snub. Um, the reason she did so, she said that she felt, you know, the vibes weren't there. And she felt that there was really no chance of her making the USA Olympic team. So she decided to out herself. To me, I believe that USA has got to stop letting that happen. Next time the Olympics come around, if Enrique Agumbawale is doing what she's doing in the league now, you got to make sure she is on that team next time around. Or else she's probably going to cook you again. Overall, um, a few other notes added to that. Neka Gwumake had a, a great, efficient performance in the All-Star game, putting up 14 points on 7 of 9 shooting. Caitlin Clark put up 10 assists, which is a rookie record, and one below the all-time All-Star game individual record. Kelsey Mitchell um, put up 13 points on 75% shooting, and Angel Reese also shined in that um, All-Star game, putting up a double-double, the first rookie to do it in an All-Star game. But that's all I got for the uh, WNBA Offseason Recap Part 1. I'm going to make a playlist for you guys so you can just have all the videos in a row to watch. Um, they'll probably all be dropping on the first day back, August 15th. Um, it's probably when you'll be watching this. First day back, the first game that will be on will be uh, the Phoenix Mercury versus the Chicago Sky. So I'm going to try to have a full recap of what's been going on just you know during the All-Star break for you guys. But yeah, with that being said... Um, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.